You good? Are you good? All right, welcome back. It's part two of the one sticking setup. So right off the bat, we're gonna talk about our new bag that we changed over to this uh, season. So we switched over to a Camelback bag and it's just the perfect size. It's got a perfect little uh, pouch in the front. Got the Predator platform stored in it as, long, uh, as well as the uh, one stick from Eastern Woods Outdoors. So perfect little setup. Got the camera arm in there inside the bag. Got my zero trace in there from Wild Game Innovations. And then when we're actually going out, we'll actually have the camera as well in the bag. Fits perfect like a glove. And this is all I need to bring out with me to get up into the tree and go on a full hunt. And like I said, uh, in part one, we got the bow. We got the whole setup. We're gonna show you how we get this thing started. So uh, we'll start running through everything here in a second. All right, so first things first, again, like I said in part one, we got the roll pouch on the side, on the right side right here. And it's fairly simply just loosen it up, just let it dangle free and hang free just like that. Now, it's very similar to the guy off the tethered one stick video, which is pretty awesome. So, uh, again, 40 foot Sterling Oplux right here, nice and tight. It's not going anywhere. It's gonna stay there until I end up propelling off the tree when I'm done. And again, the business end right in here. And then the most important part is going to be this Mad Rock safeguard, all right? So we're gonna go ahead and take the carabiner off. We're gonna store it right there. And then we're gonna take the gear tie that's holding everything and we're gonna undo just enough rope, probably about six feet-ish. If I need more, I can always pull another loop out to give me a little bit more slack. All right, again, we're gonna start with the quick link in your left hand. Then you're gonna have the Mad Rock safeguard and the carabiner right here. You're gonna store that on your lineman's belt loop just so you don't lose it. And then you're gonna have this, you're gonna have the uh, mad rock open up to the right. And you're gonna put the quick link side in. And then you're gonna come around under it. And you're just gonna go ahead and have the side that goes back into your roll pouch come up, all right? Then you're just gonna close it on top of each other. So the two holes line up. Then you're gonna put the carabiner back in. So when you go to hook up, hooks up like this, where the locker is closest to your lineman's belt and it's up. All right, so now we're just gonna go ahead, we're gonna move it. We're just gonna store it around our neck here. And we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna get to our one stick. And I'm just gonna throw that back on, all right? And again, I've got my lineman's belt here if I need it right on my side in case I need to pass any limbs going up. So now we're just gonna take the one stick. We're gonna pull it, the am steel out of the cam cleat. We're gonna unwrap it. And then we're gonna take the aider that's sewn into it and unwrap that as well. All right, so now we have our one stick ready to go on the tree. All right, and then the flat scout platform on top, which is very key, I think. I like this way better than the angled because it gives me a more stable platform when I'm up there working. All right, so all we're gonna do is gonna put it up pretty much as high as we can get it. Then we're gonna go ahead and use, I like using my forehead to kind of hold it up. I could have done it a little bit easier way, but. And all you do is hook the am steel in the cam cleat, run it back on the top, and that's it. All right? Then you pull out from the bottom, and then you pull down. All right? Now, before I get going again, I'm gonna take my bridge, I'm gonna put it to the length that I need it, all right? Keeping it kind of short while I'm going up is 
pretty key just keeps things closer to you and then we're gonna go ahead and we're going to hook in to the actual system right here all right and then we're gonna lock it all right mind you this is only my third time doing this so things are still a little tricky all right we're kind of working things out it looks easier on um looks easier when you're watching it on youtube with guys who are experienced doing it and uh just take some practice before we get climbing take our bow hauler rope that i got right here undo it and then we'll just let her down just like that and it's rolled up in a figure eight so we shouldn't have any sort of problem uh, dealing with a tangled mess or anything all right and then i'm just gonna hook the little s beaner right here out of my sis hauler and i'm gonna take this end i'm gonna hook it hook it around my bow so I can pull that up really easy when I get up there all right now we're gonna go ahead and start climbing and we're just gonna take our end of our tether make sure the quick links undone we're just gonna come around to the front put her inside and close her up nice and tight all right and I can let out a little more slack again Now we're going to get the tether, the tether pretty much as high as we can get it. Then we're going to move it off to the side. That way, when we uh, go ahead to move the system up, it'll kind of be off to the side and we can reach down and get it a lot easier. So now we're able to just go ahead, hang free, and I'm exerting very little energy, um, which is pretty awesome big spider that's cool then we're gonna go ahead and just grab it with the pull rope right here reach down and we're gonna undo this from the cam cleat and then I'm just gonna back myself away from the tree I get it up as high as I can go going to put it back in the cam cleat and then set it and then just step back into my aider now here's the part that's very essential is moving up the tether up as you go up Again, get it nice and high. Sit back in this again. Walk to the side of the tree. Go ahead and rinse and repeat. Do it till you get up as high as you need to go. And I've got 40 foot of sterling op look, so I get probably about 30, 32 feet. Feel pretty comfortable with a little bit of slack on the ground when I repel.
And again, get off to the side, step into the aider. Let's take spiders and spider webs up here. And then we'll just keep moving her up as we go. Now, one of the things that I've learned already doing this is that once you get going, you can get up pretty much as high as you want to. But you got to remember how much rope you're packing with you. So. You don't want to go higher than what your rope allows you to repel with. So I like to think about using the bow pull-up rope, which is roughly about 35, 40 feet. Uh, once I start getting near the end of that, that's about my limits as to how high I can go. All right, and now we're a pretty good distance up here already. We're already almost at 20 feet with just about two or three moves. Um, so we're gonna do one last move get up to a good hunting height that I'd like and uh, just because you have the 40 feet doesn't mean you have to use all of this but I pretty much like to get up above the canopy just kind of have that cover and be able to have a good backdrop uh, so the animals aren't picking you out whatever you're hunting deer hogs uh, coyotes doesn't matter as long as you have a good backdrop near above the canopy is pretty good so we're just gonna make one more move my last move and I know it's gonna be my last move I'm gonna just half hitch this just to make for certain that it doesn't fall out of the uh, cam cleat somehow and we'll just leave that draped over just like that and we'll pull it down push away from the tree and we'll just step back in our aider, start moving our way up again. All right, now, one of two things, you can either hunt straight from the platform that's on the stick, or you can add your other platform, such as a predator, whatever you're rocking. Uh, for me, I'm probably gonna use this with my uh, predator platform from Tethered. So, we'll just show you how how we uh, attach it and use it with it. Just take one strap off. Go ahead and uh, unravel it. And then we'll just take our predator platform get it set up pretty close to where I want it to be. I want it to be somewhat kind of level with my stick. That way I've got kind of two platforms running up here. And then like always, tighten her down. And we'll go ahead and we'll camber over. Just like that. Step back on the platform. And we can get our tether right about where we need it to be. And then we'll take our little gear strap or a little gear tie that we got on here. We'll go ahead. We'll use that to keep the rope from slipping at all. Then everything's good. We're probably close to 25 feet up now, so pretty good hunting height. Um, not the highest that you can go, 
but this is about where I feel good for this area. All right, now that we're up to hunt and hike, we'll just go ahead and start setting all our gear up. Pull out our awesome hiss strap from Tether. Now once we got that set up, we'll go ahead and we'll bring our bow up before we get anything else set up because God only knows that whenever you try to get set up, that nice buck likes to walk under you. It may or may not have happened to Dave last year. So always get your bow up there and get ready. Now, I still, I'm still trying to work the kinks out of this. Um, get my bow up here. I'm pretty sure there's an easier way, but for now, this is the way we're gonna have to do it. Um, just so everything is not a big tangled mess when we get up here. Uh, but again, that comes with practice, trying to uh, learn your new system. So, now that we got that untangled, now we'll go ahead, we'll take this, we'll attach it right now to our lineman's loop, then we'll set our bow right there, and then we'll go ahead, take this again, we're gonna put the rope retrieval rope on the, right next to the uh, scaffolding hitch, uh, right off the bat, that way we don't forget and we don't have to climb again to retrieve our rope. All right. So now that that's set up, that's good to go. And now we can go ahead and take this end that was attached to our sis hauler. And we can just let her drop. And then she can live there for the whole duration of your hunt. You can put it away, you can keep it away until you're ready to get down. Just don't forget to put it on the, uh, the rope next to the scaffolding hitch. So from there, we'll go ahead and we'll start taking all of our, we'll take our bag off. And then we'll hook it on the D-ring right there on our hiss strap so it's off to the side. Now we can start getting all of our gear out of our bag. So, open her up, take the camera out, we'll get that nice and set up. Take the camera arm. Obviously the camera will be on the camera arm. And then we'll take our last little piece of equipment, which I absolutely love. Makes very little sound up here. Um, you can't hear it from the ground. It's that Zero Trace by Wild Game Innovations. And then from there, that's pretty much everything that we need to hunt. So again, not the easiest, not the hardest thing you can do for a setup, but it's extremely light. I like to go real deep into public land and um, if I'm doing it, I wanna do it as light as possible. So the one stick makes that happen. Um, it's a little different getting used to it after just doing a four sticks for all of last season, which I really enjoyed, but uh, I think this is just gonna be that much better, that much easier. What I really enjoy about it is that 
you get the rappel coming down from the tree. And that's super quick and uh, a little bit sketchy at first, but it's a lot of fun. And it saves a lot of time getting down. Say you're caught in a storm or something, it'll save you some time. So uh, that's the setup. And like I said, the only reason why I wanted to set everything up and show you is because I haven't really seen any videos yet of anyone actually setting their whole hunting setup up in the tree or carrying a bag up while they were one sticking and demonstrating everything. Now, it throws a little bit of a curveball into it when it's nice and hot out like it is today. It's uh, in the low 90s here down in Georgia and uh, real humid. So, no matter what you do, you're probably gonna sweat like crazy. Um, so I might as well do it light. So, other than that, I'm gonna pack everything up and I'm gonna show you how I rappel down. All right, now that everything's pretty much packed up, we're just gonna do reverse order. We're gonna pull up our bow pull-up rope back up to the top. We're gonna take the opposite end that was on the ground. We're gonna put that around the bow and just lower the bow. Now when the bow's all the way to the ground, I can just pack up the rest of my stuff, the, the his strap. Go ahead and stow that. And then, Something real vital that you can't forget, take your gear tie off so you can retrieve your rope. You don't want to leave it on there and not be able to pull that thing down. If you try, it's probably not going to work. So now that that's done, you're going to go ahead, swing off to the side over here. Now, the last part that you need to do, this is the fun part, just take your rope. Throw it to the ground. Now that that's all the way to the ground, now you can really go ahead, start lowering yourself. Start lowering yourself down. And then get down to about where your stick is. And you take the platform off. I'll probably just stick it around my lineman's loop right here, just so it can ride down. And then we'll let ourselves down a little bit more. And this is the other part you can't forget. Make sure you grab your uh, climbing stick or else you're gonna have to find another way to come back up here and get that. So we'll just go ahead and pop her loose. And we'll just fold everything back up. And you can take the little loop that you use to pull it up. Stick out a little S beaner on the back. And then you can go ahead and continue to repel all the way down. As fast or as slow as you need to. And then once you get to the ground, all you're gonna do Undo your carabiner. Then you're gonna take that. I'm gonna take my predator platform off of here. So I have a good place to put this so I don't lose it. Just gonna leave that there. You're gonna go ahead and take your mad rock off. And then again, like all the other videos tell you, there's no knot on here. Alright, that's very key in case you go around any branches, you don't want to get caught on any uh little gaps in the tree or in between a branch all right so it'll make it easy so you can retrieve it and go right through the quick link if need be then you take the carabiner back off put in your mad rock i'm going to go ahead store that back in the top of the roll pouch where all my business end goes and all i'm going to do is go from here i'm going to grab my bow retrieval rope there's also my rope retrieval rope we're going to go ahead and pull it And then your rig just falls right to the ground. It's that easy. All right, once you get to that point, go ahead, take your bow retrieval rope off, and you're just going to figure eight. You're going to figure eight it up. That way, when you go ahead and drop it, it doesn't tangle. All right, and then once you got that all tied up, 
go ahead and put it on top of my hitch strap. That way I don't forget it. Alright. And we'll go ahead, undo the quick link, take the rope out, and we'll just throw it there. And we'll take the end, the free end, with no quick link on it. We're just going to hold it in our hand, and we're just going to figure eight it. Seems to be the method that's the easiest so the rope doesn't tangle. Um, again, pretty much every video that I've seen has done it that way for the most part. All right, And once we get to about what we need left, you know, roughly about six feet-ish or so, we're going to go ahead, we're going to take it off, and we're just going to go fold it. And then again, it goes right in the roll pouch, right there. And then we just tighten that down. That way it doesn't go anywhere, all right? And then instead of putting the Matarock on right now, I just do that when I get out there. Um, you just coil this up. And then you just take the rest of it. I like to use the gear tie. Kind of, kind of keeps everything together. Put it back in the top end of the roll pouch. And then just take it. Put it back in the loop. Make sure your roll pouch is covering everything so it doesn't fall out. And then obviously that could probably be a little bit cleaner, but it's away all right and then obviously you just finish picking up the rest of your setup you just throw the uh, predator platform back in there real quick undo those straps take the one stick go ahead pack her back up and then again she's ready to go Go ahead and I like to, uh, after watching a few videos, I like to go ahead, put it back in the stow mode, go down under, everything's out of the way. Put your bag on, grab your bow, and get out of there. So, again, probably not the most efficient for everybody. Um, there's a purpose for four sticks, there's a purpose for three sticks, there's a pur uh, purpose for one stick in it. Um, but it's really just your preference, what you enjoy. I just like it because it's different. I like it because it's different, it's fun, and it's fast getting down. And uh, after going to a few mountaineering courses, I enjoy repelling. So you can't beat it. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just fun. So I hope you all enjoy. And I hope you guys maybe learn something. Uh, I know I've got a lot of learning to do. Um, but I'm hoping to get out in the woods um, and go hunt. So thanks for watching. We'll see you all again next time.